you guys asked and well, Amazon delivered, but inside this box is probably the most wanted comment on my Instagram photos from the other day. That's right, guys. New exhaust tip. Now, you're like, whoa, what are you doing with the chrome exhaust tip? This is actually stainless. So this is a polished stainless tip. Now, as you can see inside there, it's not chrome. Um, it's just polished stainless steel. So I hope by now, with the location I'm at and a brand new tip in hand. You guys know where I'm headed with this. This is a five to seven inch exhaust tip. I bought it off of Amazon. It was $36 total, I think. So, um, yeah, budget SEMA build coming in hot. Uh, I, I'm gonna powder this tip purple today and we're gonna put it on my truck. Uh, personally, I think eight inch tips are a little ridiculous. Um, and for the size of my truck, I feel like this 7-inch will just look clean. Banks is sending me rear sway bar spacers so I can put my diff cover on. We're going to put the front one on today, and we're going to try and get the horn blasters all set up um, on my truck as well. So, step one, I need to find this socket. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. It is that one. A lot of you have been hating on my uh, slides and socks, so you guys can hate on my uh, high socks and slides today. All right, guys, if you haven't seen my last couple powder coating videos, you can go watch those and it'll show you kind of the whole process. I'm just gonna run over it quick today because we got lots to do. But a lot of people ask, I have the Eastwood dual voltage powder coating system. It's like 130 bucks, eastwood.com. Uh, they got a lot of awesome products there. Yep, doing all this at home, just the Eastwood dual voltage, dual voltage powder coating system. guys so we got our exhaust tip in the oven should be about 20 minutes then we'll get our top coat on and then we can literally just throw this on the truck today that's awesome thing about powder coating okay and as you guys see this is our first coat out of the oven it looks silver ish that's actually the illusion purple color and if you guys haven't seen the other videos once you put the top coat on and bake it again it will turn uh, the actual illusion purple like the rack here but so far so good this tip is well coated and I think it's actually gonna turn out super Super good, actually. I'm really excited about this. Alright, guys. This thing actually turned out super awesome. Today, we're also going to try and tackle the front diff cover. I'd like to do the horn blasters today because it's like a nice day. However, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna run out of time. I gotta go somewhere in a little bit, but um, let's start and work on getting this tip off and replace it with, oh my goodness, that's gonna look awesome, actually. <laughs> oh man. So I think between a mixture of these three tools, um, we'll have no problem getting this off. It'll be a little stuck on there, I guarantee it. <laughs> There we go guys, seven inch purple tip installed. Looks just a little, little bit better. That's for sure. I think this one might be, might have been a bit longer. Let's see. Yeah, that was definitely an 18 inch tip, but not at all complaining. Oh, it looks so much better purple like that. Oh my goodness. All right, next thing we're gonna tackle is our front diff cover here. Um, the stock black one just kinda uh, looks eh. We just ordered another stock diff cover, powder to purple, and we're gonna slap it on here. Uh, bolts go around, the two new ones for the steering stabilizer kit there, and um, we have some Royal Purple, I think 75-90 uh, fluid to go back in there. Yes, Royal Purple, but no, I, I have that on my Trans, the Synchro Mesh, and honestly, I like their product, so we're putting Royal Purple. Back in our diffs, you can see the color of this stuff coming out. 
with only 19,000 miles, it's just not pretty stuff. <laughs> So yeah, look at that, 19,000 miles. It's like a weird brown, milky looking oil. Uh, that just doesn't look good in general. Okay, so this is my first time actually getting inside of a differential. So here's our, uh, our ring and pinion. Here's our gears here. This is a three, four, two gear ratio front and rear on this truck. I know it's super, I think it's super high if that's the right way to um, word this, but yeah, the gear ratio is quite high for tires this big, I know. I'm definitely gonna get this re-geared, however, at the moment, not gonna happen before SEMA. That is, in fact, for sure, but here's what it looks like inside of your differential. It's actually quite neat, part of the truck you usually like never see. So I honestly just filled up the kitchen sink here with really, really hot water to get some of this um, beer oil more viscous. It was taking a long time to go through that funnel, so I'm just trying to speed up the process here. If the oil's warm, it'll flow a little faster. Now we gotta hurry. Because it's not the warmest outside. I don't want this to cool down again. After a few little drips and stuff, we got the diff cover snugged up. I may run through and grab the torque wrench. I mean, everything is pretty tight, but I mean, it's like some stupid, like 25 foot pounds. And I know some of you are gonna wanna hear what the truck sounds like with the new tip. Um, I made a video a long time ago about does like tip size matter. It's just the same concept of you talking around your hand like this. You know, you take a stock truck and put a tip on it, it's not gonna sound different. If you straight pipe it, yes, it will get louder. <laughs> Sounds like a Cummins. Uh, I haven't used one of these in forever, even though it looks like a whole, I have a whole bunch. It's been a minute. Oh, since I bought new ones. Oh, smells so good. All right, guys, slight change of plans this morning. Well, my bumpers are done uh, being painted, so that's awesome. I've, I've seen pictures and videos. They look phenomenal. I was going to do all the horn blaster stuff today in this video, but I'm going to head down to Columbus right now. We're going to pick up our bumpers and uh, bring them back here again another long morning i guess it's 8 a.m we'll probably get there about 10 ish and then i'll um be back here a little bit after noon one ish um so yeah it's gonna be a long m morning to afternoon the bumpers are done they look so good i cannot wait to get them back here and we'll actually get them put together and then uh we'll be doing the horn blasters probably tomorrow which you'll see in next video. The SEMA crunch is real. I need to order light bars for these bumpers and stuff too. I need to get them on, I need to get it wired. Uh, I'm gonna get the rear diff cover installed. So much to do, so little time. Oh, well guys, we are like out of fuel here. Like, straight up out of fuel. Good old pilot, no stop. Fill up real quick here. This is always the painful process. We're at $69 fuel is 315 a gallon here um 73 it just adds up it's part of the part of, ooh. i can't make this up guys you hear that 
Look at that, $75 flat. <laughs> All right, time to go back on road. Okay, that was the weirdest thing ever. I just had to go back and fill again. The pump shut off at $75 because I don't even know why. Usually the cutoff's like 100 or something. That was 75 bucks and it cut. I've never had the pump cut off on me in like forever, but um, yeah, because I was looking at it, I was like, why well, do I only have 23 gallons to fill the thing up, so. That was weird, actually. All right, guys, we made it to Columbus. Ben got his road armor bumper already installed, so I'm a little jealous because I want to get mine on, but we're going to pick those up now. But this actually looks so much better than the uh, his homemade stock cut There's nothing one. wrong with the stock cut one. Yeah, sometimes there is. I already had somebody offer me to buy it. Actually, three people offer to buy it. All right, <laughs> bidding starts at 150 bucks. Out, outbid the other people. Honestly, I forgot you already had the rear one on. As I pulled up, I was like, I wonder if you got the rear one on, but you've had this on there forever, so. Yeah, we just need to uh, cut the hole here, and it goes down, and the, uh, the swing gate thing mounts to the frame. Does it then, give you measurements to like? Yeah, it, it gives you a whole template and everything. Awesome, that's some you thick. Can the, you can see the frame right here. Yeah, that's some thick crap though. So I was thinking about this on the way up. Um, I need to get all my lighting, but if it doesn't come in time, uh, it looks like Ben's got all my supply because I'm going to need a bunch of cubes and I'm also going to need, I might need a 30 inch straight light bar. So <laughs> actually I'll trade you for your, do you have a 20, you have a 20, right? I have a 20. I'll trade you for your 20 because I can mount the 20 on the front of this piece because there's, there's knockouts here. Um, I actually might do that because I might need a 30 inch straight for my bumper. So that'll allow me to fold my windshield down at least for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, you might be able to, yeah, we could do that. It's just got some bugs on it. You have to wipe them off, but no, actually that might work because I definitely need that. And I need it like ASAP because we're running way out of time. I was like doing the math and it's like, it's like the, I was looking. Oh yeah, that's what it was. I was looking and I'm like, it's the 20th. I'm like, we have 11, I have 11 days till I'm in Vegas. This needs to be there in 11 days, which means it needs to leave a lot sooner than that. At least I'm going to give, I mean, it takes a day and some kind of hours to drive there. So I'm going to give the guy at least three days. So it, I got like seven days to get this thing done and shipped. So this is, this is crazy. I think we're good actually. I have the two that was never. You think we did lose one of them? No, I think I think we I think we have both of them right there. Yeah. We only had two back there. So I got those and then I got the two in the back seat. I got like four bl big blankets. Okay. I figure we'll use those for the big shit. Yeah. And I can just even wrap it. put them in the box. I can even wrap it and then put something in the back seat too. Mm -hmm. They go by pigments and weight. <laughs> Chips. Those are the greens. Some of the greens, yeah. you know. All kind, every color you can think of, dude, up here in the world. This is it. You just go on the computer and it tells you how much of each yes. pigment, and it's all just like PO6. It's called green angles. There's no chip for this one. There's only one formula for it. Yeah. And this tells me what's all in it. It's got a lot of yellows: white, yellow, 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 green. <laughs> and that's how you make it. If you overpour or underpour, that's how you get bad color matching. Oh, and the yeah, I like legit need to put all these together tomorrow because I gotta get the lighting and I gotta take these off. Honestly, I might, once I get home, I might rip these bumpers off tonight. Gotta get the sensors out, put them in here. Do you see custom offsets? Yeah. <laughs> They raided your truck from like a video from last custom year. Custom offsets, you said? Yeah. Dude, I have like five of my buddies that are invaded work there. Because that's all they deal with the big old trucks. So. Yeah. They're good people. Take your time, but be in a hurry. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back from Columbus. Ben graciously let us use his um, shackles because mine are not here yet. So I'm going to be powder coating these purple. So big thank you to Ben on that because I'm definitely going to need those uh, for this. The shackle mounts. I don't have my shackles yet, so we're going to, I'm going to 
pretty much swap with him. I was just doing some rough measurements here of light bars. I think I'm gonna do one dual row 30 and one dual row 20. You could do two single 30s, but they space out too far. And if I wanted this ring in there, not the other one, and if I put the other ring in there, it's so much wider. You could run like extra cubes and stuff, but I think the simplest thing, make it look clean, do the 30 inch, do the 20 inch get everything wired, get it on the truck. What we're gonna be doing tomorrow is honestly assembling all of this. We're gonna be putting the bumpers together, um, putting the horn blasters together, getting everything that needs to be left and done on the truck, just on the truck. We're gonna get everything together. Um, I'm probably gonna try and rip those bumpers off. Um, putting these together shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a matter of having the lighting here. Because once the lighting's here, I can run everything um, from the batteries and to the bumpers and switches and stuff like that. So it's definitely a crazy week here. I want to have everything done by Wednesday. You have it detailed, cleaned, ready to go. I know in Vegas it's probably going to get detailed again, but just whew, get it done here as much as we can. i got to touch some things up. This is probably one of the last warm, warm days. So it's going to be cooler, so it's going to be fun <laughs> working in like 50 and less temperatures outside like all day trying to get this stuff together. But we're crunching, we're crunching hard. Um, once the lighting's here, it shouldn't be hard. I may or may not have time to run the rest of the rock lights, I don't know. But we're gonna be dropping that spare tire, getting the horn blasters in there, diff cover on, bumpers off, bumpers on. Lighting ran, switches ran, compressor ran. Although we have lots to do, it's actually not as much as you think. It's a decent amount, but we'll be able to get it done. We'll definitely be able to get it done. <laughs> SEMA crunch, guys. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Stay tuned, follow me on the rest of the SEMA crunch, SEMA build, I'm gonna take you the whole process in Vegas, going in the convention center, all that stuff, getting the truck shipped out there. I'm gonna take you through everything. Um, and yeah, so if you haven't been here before, click that subscribe button. Shoot this video a like if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. This truck's going to look a whole lot different in a couple of days with a whole bunch of more uh, features and stuff on it. So uh, get excited. I am I'm really excited. I want to get those bumpers put together and on because they look so darn good. Yeah, guys. I will see you guys very soon in the next video.